Josh. How are you doing? Good, very well. Saw the film last night, so I have to say I was just talking to Will and he said that the entire movie kind of lied on your shoulders. Really? Did you Thanks, did you, Will. <laughs> did you think that way at all, kind of stepping into it? No, I mean, it's, uh, yeah, sort of, but in a in kind of an elusive way. I mean, if you take on that idea to literally, <laughs> you probably just fold in fear. But uh, I did know that if I didn't get this, if I didn't at least go unnoticed, that uh, you know the accent or showboating the thing or doing some kind of exaggerated thing, I just didn't want to get in the way of a great story that they had created, you know. So um, you know, hopefully, I did that enough. Well, I would say that you did. I mean, how much time did you spend studying K? Uh, um, months, months. The movie got pushed back a couple of times, so I, I had, I was glad for me, selfishly, because I got to kind of disappear and go do it and work on it. And uh, for some reason, I thought it was going to come a little easier than it came. And I know Tommy, and I thought, eh, if I know Tommy, I can, you know, figure it out. Um, but then the more you start to do it, you realize the kind of complexities of of his vocal qualities and, and you go, oh man, this is going to be tough. What was the toughest? Tough. What's, is there any particular? No, I mean, once you get into all rights and okays and those one word answers, that, that, that's the easiest thing to get because they're fun and they're funny to do and they're just kind of a higher lilt. But then when you get into more regular talk, you know, and when you go back into like more generic San Saba, you know, it's, I was listening to Tommy today and I suddenly, you know, I, I see Tommy in a completely different way because of this movie now. And having just watched him and listened to him and had the iPod in during the movie, now I see Tommy and I'm, again, like totally uncomfortable. It's like I've never met him now. It's like I'm meeting a whole new guy. I'm a, I'm a fan from a, on a completely different, higher level now. So there were no hesitations at all about stepping into a franchise. There that's... was a lot of hesitations. Oh, really? Tons, tons, because you don't want to be the guy that screws up a really nice franchise, and especially, which I think worked in our favor, 10 years after doing the last one, you kind of have you know, the, the room to be able to go, okay, we can kind of restructure this whole thing in a way that's really fresh, and I think they did that. I mean, and it was really great seeing kind of the origins of J and K's relationships too. It was yeah. you were able to, to change some things. Yeah, 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 totally. And you know, uh, the chemistry between Will and Tommy, you know, is not something that you can duplicate. But we were lucky enough that when Will and I got together, that we had enough of a chemistry between the two of us personally to go, oh, okay, this is going to work. There's a lot of electricity between us that I think will. Uh, will be a nice replacement, temporary replacement for before he goes back, you know. And yeah, and you got to hang out with Andy Warhol. Yeah. <laughs> Andy Warhol and Bill Hader is the same to me now. To me, they're both as iconic as the other. One is as iconic as the other. I love Bill Hader. I think he's a genius. Stefan. Yeah, Stefan, <laughs> truly. Well, uh, thanks so much for right. your time. It was great to meet you. Thanks.